Boxing King Media in association with boxer Robbie Davis Jr. Uh, fighting Dara Foley, I hope I said the name right. Um, the obvious question you're going to be answering all week is, uh, did it disrupt you much? Did it mentally take you down a bit, having the fact that um, uh, Paro pulled out and that potential was going to take you to uh, down a world title route now you're fighting a guy who's coming out three weeks' notice? Uh, I know what you're saying. Um, it can be disheartening, but for me now, it's like I was never even fighting him. My sole focus has just became Foley. And... Um, if they come through this Saturday night in good fashion, hopefully the paddle fight's still there. But for now, it's like it's like that fight was never happening to me. I've just completely switched off from him and switched off on, on switched to this fella. Had, prior to him being in, named as your opponent, had you ever seen him or heard of him or watched anything of him? I did. I did heard of him because I knew some of the British lads he'd fought. Um, so I had a little quick look and obviously I let me coach through the rest of the look and things like that um, and he's a capable fighter he's tough and he's rugged and he and he comes to bring it and he can box a bit as well so I'd rather fight someone that has that sort of confidence that isn't just going to come over on short notice and shell up and fiddle his way through the rounds because he comes to win it'll make me look better Definitely so, and he commented on it yesterday as well. I think you've been that self-critical as well about you know your recent performances. You got the W, but you know you you've said yourself you've not been at your best. Um, he highlighted that, and he feels like maybe it's uh, signs of you being towards the end of the road. Uh, what would you say about that? No, it was just one of them nights. I was in with top opposition, and get in a shower, you get wet. It can just happen. I come over the storm and I got through it. Um, it wasn't my best performance, but. Everyone's entitled to one of them every now and again. And if you can still win on a bad performance, that's another thing again. Definitely so. You've cleaned up domestically, you've won all the titles. I'm guessing your aspirations are that world honour. Uh, how far do you feel like you are away from that now? Like, you know, same fighting terms. <clears throat> do you know what? With boxing, it's, um, it's, it's like snakes and ladders. Um, one minute you can be down, you can have one big win and you're right in the mix. So um, I'll be looking for them big names later in the year and a big win will get me right in the mix. I know I'm not too far away. I know I'm a well-known name in British boxing and across the world in the light welterweight division, so I know there's not many that don't know my name. So I believe the big fights are nearly there. I've just got to keep winning. And how good does it feel to be back in your hometown in front of your own fans as well? And credit to Matchroom for getting this show still, you know, still going ahead? Yeah, o over the moon with it, to be honest. Like, when um, Paro pulled out, that was a downer. Then when Callum Smith had to pull out, unfortunately, I was half thinking like the show might get pulled. But um, credit to Eddie and Matchroom for keeping it on and all the fighters stayed, stayed ready and we'll have a great show on Saturday night. Definitely. So uh, what kind of statement are you looking to make, Robbie? Are you wanting to go in there and dominate this guy and take him out or are you just going to um, just look to box? What, what are you thinking in your head? What kind of mentality are you going in with? Do you know what? I just go in with the same mentality every, every fight team. I don't worry too much about what they do. I let them worry about what I do. And if I perform to my best, it'll be enough to get the win. And whatever way it comes, I don't care. We just spoke about Foley's personality and the way he's kind of come across this week. Uh, we were just speaking off camera. Uh, just let the fans know what, what your impressions are of just the way he's come across in the interviews. Do you know what? Like, I, I don't think nothing of it. You've seen the fighters have fought over the years. Um, a, load, a lot of them have had a lot to say, but um, some fighters have big personalities and I don't mind that. It makes it a bit more pantomime, doesn't it? A bit more characteristic. I don't mind it. I don't take nothing personally in boxing anymore anyway. Maybe I did when I was younger, but just it's all part and parcel, part of the game. I'll still, still shake his hand after I fight him and after I beat him. Respect to you for that, uh, Robbie. I uh, just want to quickly get your opinions and thoughts on you know, the hottest topic in boxing this week where everyone's probably going to be asking you about is uh, you know, the Conor Ben Pierce Morgan interview. Did you watch it? <laughs> no. I, like, I was doing interviews yesterday at the open yeah. workout and people were asking me about it. And I was just like, don't look into it too much because it's nothing to do with me. It doesn't cross paths with me. No one in my gym doesn't cross paths with anyone in my gym. So... It's like, it's on the back burner, do you know what I mean? The only things I see is just like, if I'm scrolling through social media and I see bits and bobs, so I don't even know what's what, do you know what I mean? I haven't took any interest of it at all. Robbie, that's a fair comment. I respect you for that. Uh, all the best Saturday and uh, may the best man win. Appreciate it. Thank you and good speaking to you.